Yo, what's up guys? This is Brandon with the Hefe Media Podcast. Today, I have the honor and pleasure to be here with my good friend and business colleague, Hans Fritz. Hey, hi. <laughs> hi, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, thank me. you, thank you, man. I've been trying to get you on this podcast for years and years and years. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, not yeah. years, but maybe a few weeks now. Uh, I think it's been closer to a year, yeah. A year? A while, yeah. No, we did talk about it because I know <laughs> when um, when we shot Brian Sonnefeld, he was formerly working with JPL NASA. Uh, we had talked about uh-huh. doing a podcast, but I think now is more appropriate given that you know, like we started from the bottom and now we're you know we're here. We're here. <laughs> but um, wanted to get into. I know you started a new role, a new project uh, here in Downey. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your role, the organization name, sure. um, and kind of your background and how that kind of evolved over the past couple of years? Sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, first of all, thank you for giving me the opportunity. I know you've been uh, very persistent, so A plus for that. Uh, and to uh, go back to the, the, the timeline, it, it was over a year because I remember when we interviewed him at his house, right, I right. told him that I was going to be a dad. Oh yeah, yeah, I had in my no, no, you're starting a year. So I'm pretty sure I have it on year. video, dude. I'm really? Sure. I'm pretty sure I have it on <laughs> His video. His expression? Like he was like, "What?" <laughs> when you told him that, yeah. Yeah. Because um, it was like all like all of a sudden type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, sorry for going on a tangent, but yeah, no. Um, uh, I have me uh, one of my newest clients, uh, Downtown Downey Improvement Association. It's um, it's it started about four years ago. Um, when um, well, going back a little bit farther back, uh, the the state would give cities money for redevelopment. Uh, a lot of the cities didn't touch it, and so at one point the governor took it back. And when they took it back, uh, a lot of the cities cities started uh, to create uh, their own. Um, it's called a CBD, uh, a community benefit district. And um, essentially, what it is is the property owners they get to they got together about four years ago and they said, well, let's create this this uh, entity. Um, they, uh, it's, a, it's like sort of like a tax that's attached to, to their, uh, to their property tax, but, uh, it's governed in a different ways. It's, it's Prop 2, 218 go, governs it. Um, but anyways, they create this entity, uh, and the sole purpose of it is to, um, create more, um, traffic, foot traffic to the downtown association, to the downtown area and, and benefit the businesses, uh, by increasing sales, increasing visibility, uh, so on and so forth. Um, it, it's been very kind of, sort of um, silent because as, as it was picking up steam, uh, the pandemic happened and nothing could, it, it was impossible to do any outdoors, uh, outdoor events. But anyways, I came on board uh, early this year and uh, uh, we've done a lot of things so far. Uh, one of them was a business mixer that you were there, you were helping yeah, with. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you for, for, do, for being there. Uh, some of the things coming up uh, are um, a lot of exciting things, special events. We have uh, a night market that is going to be coming up uh, tw- two times a month. When is that yeah. projected to be starting? Well, so we already have uh, the, the, the main uh, key players are uh, for it. We met with the uh, the key players. What, what, what company? Uh, no, the key players, uh-huh. uh, the, the the shareholders, like the city, oh, okay. the city, the board. Yeah, uh, everybody's for it. We already met with the the, 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 the downtown subcommittee composed of uh, Mayor Pro Tem and Councilwoman uh, Claudia Frometa. Um, and so we're in the beginning stages of submitting a, or a permit, but it's only at this point it's only formalities. It's just gotcha. paperwork. But the key players are already. Uh, for it, and they'll be right here. Uh, yeah, it'll be lot. here on Downey on Downey Avenue between Second and Fourth. So oh, okay, we're expecting cool. about um, fifty vendors. Oh wow! Yeah, and very, how do you how do you become a vendor? Um, you can go to the to our website. You can email me, and I'll I'll, I'll refer you to the the, the the company in charge. Okay. Uh, we partner up with uh, Angel City Market. And your email is? Uh, it's uh, Hans H A N S at downtowndowning.org. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, but yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be like 50 vendors, very strategically placed because the, the uh, we don't want we don't want to put, a, for example, a food vendor outside a restaurant and consequently uh, hurt our businesses. Gotcha. The whole point is to benefit them. So we're if we are gonna have some food trucks, but they're gonna be on the opposite side, by by Fourth Street, by the Greek Church. Okay, cool. So, yeah, and then the non-food vendors and some of the the uh, family activities is gonna be right by the restaurants. Okay. So very, we we kind of thought about every detail. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm-hmm. So uh, I just wanted to make a quick shout out to our sponsor, Intelligates. 
IntelliGates is an electronic gate company servicing Los Angeles and Orange County cities. If you live in Downey or any of the surrounding cities and have a gate, an electronic gate, uh, make sure you contact IntelliGates. You can contact them at IntelliGates.com. They service electronic gates all throughout Los Angeles and Orange County cities. Uh, security gate systems, automation, um, electronic gates, uh, remote gates, swing bar gates, arm bar gates, uh, overhead gates, sliding gates, all types of gates. <laughs> IntelliGates. You got to call IntelliGates. They're, they're the ones. Um, but yeah, no, I, I wanted to uh, make sure I gave them a quick shout out. Um, I wanted to, you know, kind of learn a little bit more about downtown Downey District and like more of the more or less goals that you guys have with downtown Downey. I know I was at that mixer and I saw some of the vision, but like to kind of amplify that message to maybe some of the viewers here that live in Downey or they live in like Bellflower Lakewood or Montebello or any of the like surrounding mm -hmm. cities, like what kind of the vision more or less uh, for the, you know, downtown Downey District organization like what do you guys kind of foresee happening within the next couple of years uh, with this organization um, so we want to um, the, 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 end, the end goal vision is to be a, 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 an attraction a, a destination for families and uh, the live in the surrounding cities or even farther to come here um, uh, we are going to be having some uh, in Instagram Instagramable yeah. Uh, uh, what about TikTok? In TikTok too, uh, but we're doing some things in, in downtown area. I don't want to get too 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 much into detail, but uh, because we're still in the talking phases. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna have some things that will uh, incentivize people to take pictures. Okay. And, cool. uh, yeah, and put on Instagram. It's like free marketing. Like people yeah, yeah, put it yeah. on Instagram. It says downtown down in the, in the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Just to like kind of parlay off of like, cause like TikTok for example, like it's so viral. Uh, when the 6th Street Bridge just opened up, like there were so many people there that like flocked to 6th Street Bridge. I don't know if mm -hmm. you got a chance to check out that bridge yet, but literally like the whole city of LA was out there. They were doing their TikToks, you know. Unfortunately, there were some people that were doing like illegal stuff, like donuts and shit, you know, <laughs> on, the, on the bridge. Um, but yep. yeah, TikTok is just so, uh, it's just so viral. Yeah. And uh, if you guys can create some type of attraction or some type of, uh, you know, uh, for example, I was in Melrose last week and dude, I'm telling you, there was like so many people going to this big pink wall and just taking pictures. Like I would, I probably saw like maybe a hundred people come and go while I was there uh, taking pictures in front of this like pink wall. And they have like, um, for example, in Melrose, I was at this coffee shop called Carrera Cafe and apparently like they have this wall and the wall at the time where I took a picture, they reposted, whatever, uh, says free hugs inside. <laughs> but they paint that wall like frequently. They paint mm -hmm. it frequently. So like- This is the pink? The pink no, wall? no, this is across the street. Directly okay. across the street for the pink wall. So I was at the cafe and directly across the street was that pink wall, you know, attraction that a lot of people were taking pictures out of. At, uh, at Carrera Cafe, uh, they have this mural, what have you. And, um, you know, it's like, you know, they're advertising their brand, but then I was looking at their Instagram and they also advertised like Squid Games. They were advertising Squid oh, Games okay. and they were like, you know, I guess mm -hmm. collaborating with different companies and stuff like that. But maybe, you know, maybe giving some ideas to some of the local businesses yeah. here to create more attraction to come. You know, yeah. I know Ricky, shout out to Ricky. I have him uh, working with one of my clients here in Downey. Uh, shout out to La Perla de Mar, they're mm -hmm. doing something. And shout out to you, because you actually reminded me yeah. and linked me up with Ricky, uh, with your fiance uh, at La Chula. So you guys <laughs> did a great project. And, and that restaurant, you guys been doing a lot of investment in that restaurant. It looks really nice and it looks like, you know, it's an experience when you go there. You guys are like definitely a power couple, shout oh, out. Thank you. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just to kind of focus more in on like downtown Downey, cause like before this podcast, I was asking a lot of people like, hey, like especially people that live in Downey that are invested, skin in the game, whatever. Um, like, what do you want to see in Downey? And like one of the things was like more restaurants, more like experiential stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I know across the street here, we have like some, like what it, it reminds me of like, like Austin vibes, you know, like that, uh, this bar right here at the corner from Ola. Mm -hmm. It kind of has like a rooftop type of vibe, but it's not necessarily rooftop. Um, I, where was I? I was um, 
I was in, I think, Second Street in Long Beach, and they had a business like that. I think mm. it was called like Saint at Seconds or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, they yes. have something similar. Um, what are some of the kind of things that you guys are foreseeing in terms of businesses coming in, moving in, and bringing something unique uh, yeah. to the table for you know downtown Downey? Yeah, um, no. So uh, th that's also our, our kind of our, our uh, role, uh, secondary to um, attracting bis uh, people, uh, foot traffic to the downtown. Uh, we we act as a um, as a middleman uh, or sort of like an official broker, in, in the sense of helping businesses uh, come and find a an available um, a lease location in Downey. The one you describe is uh, is going to be uh, Mores Tacos. Uh, they have okay. one in Cerritos right now, yeah. Uh, but it, it's it, it's um, it's going to be a nice place. It's the, the 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 only location in downtown Downey with a second floor. It's not the first one because there's one there there was one before. Um, but um, yeah, on the way here, actually, um, somebody called me. They were interested in one of the businesses that it's here in Downey, and I told, told them that, from to my word, they're not interested on, on selling. But if they are, uh, we'll connect them. So my my role is to get all these people, all this interest, mm -hmm. um, get a, a, a build a relationship with them, and kind of facilitate their 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 doing business in Downey, okay. in downtown Downey. Yeah. Uh, some of the uh, things that we we're, we we're thinking of. Is um, uh, a gateway sign by the entrance of Firestone, so it'll be like a big sign from one side of the street to the other. Very elegant. Yeah, again, that yeah. kind of adds to the Mexican Beverly Hills. Well, uh, the, the thing about it, the thing about that, I don't mean to cut you off or anything. Uh, when I was in San Diego, maybe a few weeks, not like a, like two months ago, actually. Um, when you go to Little Italy, they have something like mm -hmm. that. I don't know, maybe you can look it up online and kind of get an idea. Yeah. But when you're down there, Little Italy, they have like a signage when you're kind of going through that little, uh, you know, uh, boardwalk or whatever mm -hmm. that little area is. Um, and I think that would be a great yeah, idea yeah, for you yeah. guys too. Yeah, I've actually reached out to the same company. That oh, really? Little, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I reached out to them just to, to, to get an idea of the, the timeline and the cost. They say, they say, great minds think alike and think unalike at the same time. That's what we <laughs> talked about the other day. Yeah. What about, I mean, so not to like talk about myself or anything, but uh, my birthday was the other day. We were at this Lebanese restaurant. Mm -hmm. Like, what about something like that, dude? That was cool. Like, they had hookah and food. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, hookah, if you're 18 or 21 and over, right? I think, I think so, it's yeah, like 21 yeah. and over. Um, but like something like that, you know, mm -hmm. like where there's hookah and yeah. you know, like food and like cool vibes right. and stuff. That, that would be cool, I think, personally, yeah. um, to see something like that. I know there's a hookah bar here, but I'm not sure if they have food. Um, no, but they're, um, the restaurant across the street is, uh, I believe, is the same owner. So they, oh, they really? provide food and they just walk it across the street. Oh, no way. But a lot of people don't know about it. So we, we do, we have to find ways on, on promoting that. Oh. Oh, okay. Make it known. So, yeah. um, so what's his? Uh, what's his? What type? What type of food do they sell there? Um, I think it's like American food, like burgers, burgers okay. and uh, salads and things like that. Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, to add to your um, the thing you said about the, the bridge, um, uh -huh. it's been it's been um, mentioned so many times in the, in the news about the illegal activity, whatever. But what really happened is that now everybody, when they see the the, the arcs, they think they know it's in six six bridge yeah so that's kind of like or, or a long-term strategy to create things in Downey that when people see it they're like oh that's downtown Downey like yeah. the, for example the Doodalicious, Doodalicious uh, art wall, uh, art wall uh, right here at the next to the Portos parking lot parking structure uh, more things like that yeah, yeah. like uh, landmarks basically landmark exactly yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. landmarks to kind of distinguish you from everyone else mm -hmm. or you know people can figure out like what it is exactly. um, so obviously you told me that you had just taken on taken on this project congratulations again um, how long give or take is like this initiative uh, set out for like uh, you know amongst you know the yeah. shareholders you know the community etc mm -hmm. like did they have that kind of like hey we want to like invest X amount of time into this project. Like, mm -hmm. what's kind of like the uh, vision with that? Yeah. So um, the um, uh, the the plan is set up for 15 years, and we're we're already in the fifth year, so we have another 10 years. Uh, once it gets to the 15th year, that's when um, the board uh, we have to kind of like run it again through the property owners to see if they want to uh, renew it. If not, okay. it, it would end at the, after the 15 years from when cool, it was man. started. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome that you know the homeowners are so invested into their community that they're willing to create this organization right. to see more 
uh, yeah. abundance in their town. I think more cities need that because like sometimes like yesterday, I'm not going to name the cities or anything like that, but I drive into these cities and I'm like, man, what's so different between this city and the next city over that's so vibrant and like mm -hmm. abundant versus like this city where it's like it doesn't look that yeah. good you know and it could be uh they don't have a downtown district here you can they don't have hans <laughs> at running their stuff so you need to contact yeah, hans asap if mm -hmm. you want your stuff to start to pop right um i was actually uh with a friend uh monica um like about a couple weeks ago and i actually took her i drove her down downtown downey and, I, you know, like I said, I was trying to prepare for this podcast. Uh, I wanted to kind of pick people's brains, other people's brains, too. And I was showing her, like, hey, this is this place, this is that place. You know, this is what this is good for, et cetera. And what she was telling me was, like, I was like, hey, I want some, like, constructive feedback. So what do you think? And then she was saying, like, do you guys think you guys can expand more and have the businesses continue to go further down the street? Because mm -hmm. people like like walking, you know, people yeah, like yeah, going and yeah. experiencing more and more and more. Yeah, do you yeah. guys see that happening? Or? Totally, totally. Yeah, no, thank you for bringing that up. Um, the, 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 the association can expand. Uh, and pretty much anybody could uh, opt in to become uh, a member. Uh, and the, the uh, well, what... Uh, it, it, they could be added to the assessment, the um, the tax on their property, or we could invoice them for the membership. Um, and there's a, a, calcul a calculation that would tell them how much it would be, but they would enjoy services like, um, have you seen, like, uh, we have a few employees cleaning the uh, downtown area. I saw them. Yeah, so, I see we, them. so we try to provide, like, the Disney kind of, like... Uh, I see experience. them, and it's all branded, too. Uh -huh. I see them with their branding and yeah. stuff. I'm like, all right, cool. That's so good. new members would enjoy that, and, uh, and a few other things that, 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 uh, that, that we also provide. Um, uh, if we want to expand it, right now it's about 80-something uh, properties, 120-something businesses, uh -huh. uh, and it, it pretty much, like, four blocks around that. We, if we wanted to expand it significantly more, um, we would have to run it through, all, uh, run a survey through all the property owners and see what they that do. are in already. Yeah, if we go to them, but if they come to us, it could be any day. Tomorrow we could have uh, the business on the border and expand it. Um, okay. The the property. Okay, so you guys are focusing within a certain radius of uh, yeah. downtown Downey. Yeah. And as far as like, like I know this is kind of like off of like your role in in what you do at uh, you know downtown Downey District. But as far as businesses opening up, like you know, private businesses mm -hmm. and continuing continuing to expand restaurants, you know, um, nightclubs, lounges, um, you know, different types of businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, I know like the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu business is really mm -hmm. thriving. I see a lot of traffic there. Right. Um, you know, do you guys kind of foresee more and more like high traffic type of businesses mm -hmm. opening and expanding down? Maybe all the way towards like the the laundry mat over there. <laughs> um, yes, yes, and no. I mean, yes, we would welcome any business, but um, I said no because there's some restrictions. We gotta consider like zoning laws. I believe passing that street is uh, residential uh, okay. or mixed residential, so we cannot build business there unless the city changes the zoning. Oh, okay. um, but there are other areas on Firestone Boulevard, for example, that okay. we could put in more businesses. Okay, um, so just like kind of yeah, yeah. Right here. It just it would be much faster doing that than trying to uh, petition to change the zone. Okay. Uh, to to, to kind of accommodate where we already have the the, the right of use. Yeah. Um, like one of the businesses, I won't mention it, but it was it was a little controversial. Controversial, but um, the, that's a perfect location to start to open up a new business. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, we welcome them as a, as a business uh, entity. We want them here. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I want to take this moment to uh, again shout out our sponsor, Intelligates. They're the smart way to do gates. They service electronic gates all throughout Los Angeles and Orange County cities. If you have a security gate or a automated gate that needs gate automation or any type of service, make sure you contact Intelligates at Intelligates.com. They are the smart way to do gates. And uh, back to our podcast. I was at the uh, Embassy Suites. Mm -hmm. I stayed there the other week. Um, we had, uh, you know, like I mentioned, my birthday, and we had uh, with a friend. Uh, shout out to Linda, and uh, and we were with her friends Ricky and uh, Sebastian and Eileen, you know, and uh, they got a place right here at the Embassy Suites. 
and so I got to like see the embassy suites and what have mm. you like I've been there before for like events and stuff but like I to actually go in like the room and see like the whole experience like those that hotel was like really nice mm -hmm. like I didn't even realize how nice it was yeah the embassy suites and so some of their feedback I was asking them you know like I said I've been kind of preparing um, I was like hey like what are some of the things you want to see in Downey? They're like, more hotels. Do you guys think that's like possible? Or yeah. what do you think? What do you well, think about they that? They are building a new, a new hotel. They are? They, yeah. Um, passing Firestone and, and Liquid. There's yeah, a new hotel coming up. Uh -huh. Is the same company? Or uh, no, different company. I think it's um, Hilton. Oh, no, no, this is Hilton, uh, uh, the Hilton uh, uh, family. The other one over there, I think it's uh, Sheraton. Okay. Um, yeah, but for example, Embassy Suites and, and including the no, actually the other hotel is out of the district. But uh, some of our um, uh, or my role is to invite, uh, for example, conferences. Okay. To to be hosted at that, at that hotel in that hotel, um, and not only with them, but every single business. Think about like how, how we could improve their sales and their visibility. Yeah. So okay. So you said that. So they are opening a new hotel. Do you know what type of hotel is in? Because this one is really nice, though. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't, to be no. honest. No, it's, it's outside the district. I haven't looked too much into it, but uh, when I drive by, when going home, I, uh, I see it. Okay, so mm -hmm. they're doing construction and what have mm -hmm. you. Okay, cool, man. Um, you know what? I did have something else on my mind, but I like lost my train of thought because of everything. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as like personally, obviously you've been invested in the city uh, for many years. Uh, do you kind of like foresee? Maybe like going into like the political arena in terms of running for office at any point. Is that has that crossed your mind, or have you yeah. considered that like seriously, or you're like you like being behind the scenes type of yeah. role? Like, what do you what do you kind of see? Yeah. So um, uh, no, it has crossed my mind, but it wouldn't be anytime soon. And, and um, for those of you that barely met me in this video, I do I do I have other clients in the political uh, arena. Uh, so I've been involved in that for many years, almost 10 years already, as you know. Um, but it has crossed my mind. But um, it would be later on, like towards my retirement, maybe. Like I, I don't, I don't see it as pivotal in my career. Uh, it would actually, think, it, would, it would have hurt me, I think, uh, uh, by doing that. It'd be more like philanthropic. Almost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So maybe to answer your question, maybe, but later on. Okay. Like way later on. Cool, man. Mm -hmm. And so, like, if anybody, like, in particular has a question or, like, you know, they have just feedback or anything like that. I know you mentioned your email in the beginning of the video, but, like, if we want to reach you and have any questions, uh, maybe want to join the organization, mm -hmm. we're a homeowner within the radius, um, or maybe have any questions regarding businesses, starting businesses in Downey, like, where can we reach you? Uh, the email is the best way. Uh, it, my, per my, my business email is... Uh, it's uh, h at hkfsolutions.com mm -hmm. or you can go to my website uh, hkfsolutions.com uh, and that's where you can reach me for something uh, other than the association. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit? I mean, I know we're, we're focusing on the District of Downey. Sure, sure. Tell me a little bit about that, uh, sure. your, that consulting firm. Sure, sure. My, my, so my business is uh, hkf, uh, hkfsolutions.com. It's, uh, it, it's a, a consulting firm for um, elected officials uh, they are, are facing a uh, a, a re-election, uh, a recall. Uh, also, individuals that are interested in running for election. Also, um, stakeholders that are interested in uh, doing a petition that needs uh, voter approval. That's where I have the, the most experience uh, in my career. Um, and actually, this year, 2022, I'm going to be pretty busy. I'm already pretty busy on those things. But, but yeah, that's what it is. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And um, I'm just curious, man, like, come on, give us something. We want to know a secret that you guys are working on, that you guys plan on bringing to downtown Downey that's like, <laughs> I know you already shared a bunch of different things, but like something that's like a sneak peek. Can we have something that you guys can share with us, something? I think I could share some, some of these things with you, some of the events that we have planned. Um, uh, we have a big parking structure, a four level parking structure that is, uh, in my opinion, underutilized. So we want, we're gonna be doing a lot of things there uh, to make it more um, attractive to first time visitors. Okay. Uh, we're gonna keep it uh, keep it nice and clean. Okay. Uh, install gates at both entrances. Install the gates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're more than welcome to submit a, a bit. Yeah, if, for if sure. I'm gonna yeah. him know. Um, uh, uh, like arm, se arm security gates. Yeah, um, uh, Security cameras, we, we're gonna be uh, doing um, 
on the rooftop we have people that come and they do in their vehicle they do donuts and okay and the legal activity that shouldn't be happening i mean nothing like criminal criminal but obviously illegal uh so we're thinking of um uh, hosting uh events on the rooftop more more frequently right now we have okay. it once a year for the havana nights but we're thinking on having like a workout class uh or a, a yoga yoga class uh towards oh, okay. the end of the day like during the sunset something that's very instagram instagrammable uh -huh. uh, and we will be inviting uh we will prioritize some uh, businesses in the district that are already do that so we provide them the space and facilitate the whole permit process um and and we'll help them promote it okay and do you think that would probably like handle like the production aspect of it as far as the layout of the event and all that or yeah no we that that's part that's part of the early planning stages that we would we have to think of a way of uh of cleaning it because mm -hmm. the, the, the vehicles doing donuts and everything has laid out uh, like big um some like what is it called like a tar, tar or on the ground yeah so first we have to clean it really really well find a way to uh, temporarily close it during the events and uh, and how to capitalize on the events okay. uh, not only bring people but have some sort of vendors where we, where, where, where we can generate some uh, non-assessment revenues okay so uh, uh, as, as cost of, of doing business increases we can keep up with that without the need of increasing the, the assessment okay. uh, on, on property owners what's your guys's hashtag like if we're down here and we want to share the experience what's the hashtag for you guys uh, you guys have one district downy yeah we haven't we haven't adopted i would just say district at downy just we yeah. haven't adopted one yet since we uh we were kind of like silent for the for the early years mm -hmm. during the pandemic so we haven't adopted one yet we, we're working on a lot of the fundamental the foundational uh, uh um, things right now and then the next phase would be a lot of promotion mm -hmm. and, and, and marketing i just want to make another shout out to intelligates.com intelligates the smart way to do gates they service electronic gates all throughout Los Angeles and Orange County cities. If you have an electronic gate and you need automation for your electronic gate, it could be a security gate that needs a telephone entry system, make sure you contact IntelliGates.com. They are happy to be of service and make sure that you reach your gate automation needs. They work for commercial and residential businesses. If you have an electronic gate need, armbar security gate, sensor, intelligates.com, they're already happy to be of service. Um, I just wanna thank you, Hans, for sharing this office space with us and being able to educate some of the consumers on your initiative at uh, Downtown Downey District. And um, hopefully we can do something like this you know, maybe in a couple years or sooner or what have you, and we can, you know, celebrate and um, talk about more, more accomplishments that that are on the forecast. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, definitely. I would love to. Thank you, Irving, again for being our production assistant today, and uh, make sure you follow us at Hefe Media, hefemedia.com on TikTok, especially. It's uh, to the moon with TikTok, man. I'm telling you, we're, yeah. this, that's the word on town. That's the word around town <laughs> is, is TikTok. Um, but yeah, I think we're good. Okay. It's a wrap, bro. Well, thank you. It's a wrap. Appreciate <laughs> it. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cool.